<laughs> Fun, man. <laughs> So what we end up doing when we're doing synthetic division is taking the coefficients here, negative 3, negative 3, positive 5, and positive 2, and putting them here, negative 3, positive 5, and positive 2. Okay. Now keep in mind, I mentioned this during the, during the polynomial long division is, if we're missing, all, first of all, all the terms, all the x's have to be in descending order, right? So if that was x to the power of 1 and that was x to the power of 2, you have to rewrite them where it's x to the power of 2 and then x to the power of 1 and then decreasing, right? And the constant. If this was a higher power, the highest x goes first and then next x, next x, all the way down until you get to the constant. For synthetic division, it's really important that you put place markers for any missing x terms. So if this thing here was negative 3x squared and this 5x was missing, so it was negative 3x squared plus 5, what you would have to do is put 0x here. So this term here, this number here would be 0. You need the place marker for all the missing terms in your numerator, in the polynomial that's your numerator, okay? What you're gonna do with the bottom is just set this equal to 0 and move the 2 over, right? So it becomes x is equal to 2. The, the first place you start is you grab the first coefficient, your constant here, or your number here, and you pop it down here. So this guy comes straight down and you just put negative 3 here. First thing you do is grab the negative 3, pop it down here. Next thing you do is the number down here, whatever's here, you multiply this guy by this number and it comes up here. Okay, and that's the routine that you're going to end up using. Whatever that comes down, you're going to be multiplying by this and kicking it up diagonally to the bottom of the next one. Okay, so this is going to be 2 times negative 3, and that comes up here, and that's negative 6. So you're going diagonally, and if you want, you could just put it, you know, multiply you know, multiply it by two, so that way you know what you're multiplying by every time. Initially, when you start anyway, but you know, the better at this you get, the less you're gonna write down all the extra steps in there, right? So that's gonna be negative six. What you're gonna do now is add these two guys. Five minus six is gonna be one, and that pops down here. So five minus six is negative one, and what you're gonna do now is take the two, multiply it by negative one, and that thing pops here. So two times negative one is negative two, and that guy goes there, and you're gonna add those two guys, and two minus two is just gonna be zero. So that guy is zero, and that guy is your remainder. So in the polynomial, um, when we did the long division, uh, polynomial long division, we talked about, you know, what all the terms were, you know, we had the quotient, we had the dividend, the divisor, and the remainder. This guy would be your r of x. This guy is your uh, p of x, which is your uh, dividend. This is your uh, divisor, your d of x. And this guy here is your q of x. Now, we don't have all the x terms in there, right? Because, you know, this is synthetic, synthetic division. It's a simpler way of doing it. We just forget about all the x's and take all the numbers and figure out what goes where, do the division and come up with our numbers. Now, if we want, what we can do is write this, put the x's back in. So, this guy, the way it works is, what this guy represents is you just took an x squared, right, and divided an x out. So what happens if you got x squared divided by x? Well, it just becomes x. So you took out, you kicked this power down, down by 1. 
by a factor of one. So what that means here happen, what happens here is it becomes x, uh, negative three, x minus one. Okay, so what you did was divided out an x from an x squared. And if you take an x out of an x squared, you end up with an x. If this was x cubed and you took out an x, this would be x squared. If this was x to the power of four, you took out an x, this would be x cubed. Your next term would be x cubed, right? And then from there, you would have to continue doing the synthetic division until you found all the factors, right? So if we're gonna write this out now, this would mean it's negative three x minus one. This guy, the f this guy written in its factored form is x minus two, right? So if you want, just to make, you know, just so you can keep track of, you know, what's going on, you can write these in different colors or at the bottom of them, just to remind yourself what it is, the factor in the factor form, what it is exactly that you're doing here. That way you don't make any sign mistakes, okay? So when you write these out, that's just x minus two. When it's x is equal to two, that's just in factor form, it's x minus two. And this guy is negative three x minus one. Now, if you're gonna write this out as the division statement, what you could do is, this is your p of x is equal to your q of x times your d of x plus your remainder. Your remainder happens to be zero, okay? So write, let's, we're just gonna write down the division statement right down here. So our division statement is going to be our product, p of x is equal to q of x times d of x plus r of x. Now you don't need to put down the zero there because, you know, the remainder, because the remainder is just zero. If that was a number, the number would go here, right? If this, this, this bottom guy was not a factor of the top guy, then, you know, you would get a remainder, which means when x is equal to whatever this thing is here, whatever it was, your y would have been this, right? So. This is really trying to figure out what y is, because this top guy is really your y, what y is when x is equal to two, right? And when x is equal to two, y is zero, because it's a factor of it, it's an x-intercept, okay?